Hi again and welcome back to Enough is Enough. Today we're going to help you improve your performances in Rainbow Six Siege and in order to do this we're going to look at the objective locations on the favela map. Hopefully this will help the layout sink in a little bit better as well and it's just going to mean you know where to focus even if that objective isn't found in the preparation phase. All this coming right up. Hi everyone, Ace of Pirate back with you again today and we're going to continue looking at the favela map and we're going to have a look at the objective locations. This one's proved really popular so far, I think it's quite a difficult map so it's uh, definitely taken off and what we're going to do is head up to the first floor, get straight into it and the first room that we could have objectives in is Ant's apartment. This could be a bomb location in conjunction with Ant's bedroom and it can also be a secure area location. So moving along now into the central area, we've got Biker's apartment, which can be a hostage location or a bomb location in conjunction with Biker's bedroom, which we enter now. So as I said, that can be a bomb location in conjunction with Biker's apartment. So we'll now move through to the last room on this floor to house an objective, and that is the armory room, which can be a secure objective. So what we'll do is I'll have a quick run over that floor. So on bomb game mode, you want to focus on Ant's apartment, Biker's bedroom, or Biker's apartment. Hostage will be in Biker's apartment. Armory room will be secure area. So moving up onto the second floor, we've got the meth lab, which can be a bomb location in conjunction with packaging room. We've got grow room, which can be a hostage location. And then we're going to head back on ourselves into that central area, into the football apartment, which can be a secure area objective. And then there can also be a bomb location, and that is split between football bedroom and next door in football office. And then if we head through to the final room on this floor to house objectives, on the left we've got Ant's bedroom, which as said earlier can be a bomb location in conjunction with Ant's apartment downstairs, and it can also be a hostage location. So to recap for this floor, we've got bomb locations in meth lab, football bedroom, football office, Ant's bedroom, hostage in grow room or Ant's bedroom, secure area in football apartment. Now moving up to the third and final floor, we go up back stairs, we're going to head into packaging room and it's a nice easy one to remember, this can be a secure area, hostage or bomb location. That's it for the locations on Favela, they're actually quite easy to remember um, in comparison to a lot of things on the map. So I'll just do a quick run through overall of everything that we could have there. So if you're on a, a bomb game mode, we are focusing on Ant's apartment, Biker's apartment, Biker's bedroom, Meth Lab, Football bedroom, Football office, Ant's bedroom and packaging room. A hostage game mode can be located in Biker's apartment, Grow room, Ant's bedroom or packaging room and a secure area location can be found in armory room, ants apartment, football apartment or packaging room. So hopefully that's going to help you remember where those objectives are and then if they're not located in the preparation phase you still have a good idea of, of where you're looking or where you're heading and you can also start considering those uh, strategies and how to approach each room. As always, we're really, really grateful for you tuning in and watching another episode. Hopefully, this has been really helpful. Like I said, the favela map's always been a bit of a difficult one for me to learn, so the more I've done these videos, and hopefully the more you watch them, uh, the more comfortable I've become with it, and I know that my performances have definitely improved. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit like and subscribe. That way you're going to keep up to date with all the latest content from us here at Enough is Enough, and hopefully you can take something away from this video, both in terms of layout and where the objectives are, that's going to help you improve and say enough is enough. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.